everybody. Welcome to Search the Scriptures. We are on study 56 in the book of Psalms today. It covers Psalm 72, the last psalm in book 2 of the book of Psalms. And then we're going to head to 1 Kings on our next study, uh, beginning in the first verse, and then later on get back to uh, the book of Psalms. But today we're going to cover Psalm 72, as I said, and we're going to attempt to answer two different questions. Uh, in regard to this psalm. First of all, what are the two outstanding personal characteristics of Christ as King as seen in this psalm and what does the psalm say will be the results of his rule and the extent of his rule? And secondly, does not this psalm give a perfect picture of that happy earth that men are vainly trying to bring into being by their own wisdom and work? But according to Scripture, who alone can bring it to pass and to whom therefore should men look for its accomplishments? Let's look at Psalm 72, beginning with the very first verse together. Endow the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness. May he judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. May he defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May he crush the oppressor. May he endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon, through all generations. May he be like the rain falling on a mown field, like showers watering the earth. In his days may that righteous flourish and prosperity abound till the moon is no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May the desert tribes bow before him and his enemies lick the dust. And may the kings of Tarshish and of distant shores bring tribute to him. May the kings of Sheba and Seba present him gifts. May all kings bow down to him and all nations serve him. For he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy and save the needy from death. He will rescue them from oppression and violence. For precious is their blood in his sight. Long may he live. May gold from Sheba be given him. May people ever pray for him and bless him all day long. May grain abound throughout the land on the tops of the hills. May it sway. May the crops flourish like Lebanon and thrive like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. Then all nations will be blessed through him, and they will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. This concludes the prayers of David, son of Jesse. Well, let's look at the questions now. First of all, what are the two outstanding personal characteristics of Christ as king? Because he's an ultimate king, this psalm's talking about. As seen in this psalm, and what does the psalm say will be A, the result of his rule, and B, the extent of his rule? Well, Christ will reign with righteousness and justice, and he meets the needs of the children of the needy, and he destroys the oppressors. His reign will spread throughout the earth. Question number two, does not this psalm give a perfect picture of the happy earth that men are vainly trying to bring into being by their own wisdom and work? But according to scripture, who alone can bring it to pass, and to whom therefore should men look for its accomplishments? Well, every economic and political system on this earth tries to promise what this psalm proposes, and every one of them fails every time. Sin in the form of lobbyists, power, and money always gets in the way. Good intentions go by the wayside, and the number of needy, the needy grows rather than decreases, and the oppressors among us increase, and they go unpunished. Only Christ, in his perfection, can bring true justice and righteousness to the earth. And I don't know about you, but I am looking forward to that day. Hope this study in Psalms has been a blessing to you. Hope you join us for the book of 1 Kings as we start that next. Hope you're having a great day so far. May God richly bless the rest of your day.